Hi, welcome to Town Meeting TV. I'm here today with um, a group of folks who reached out about sharing a project that they're working on. I'm with Peter Dang, Bob Asimwa, Chris Asanya. And if you could just introduce yourselves, give me a little bit about who you are, and um, we'll get right into what the project is, Get Duma. Chris, we'll start with you. Uh, my name is Chris Asanya. I've been in the state of Vermont, um, Burlington per se, for almost 30 years. Um, I run a business locally here in Vermont. Um, and then we have a, another business venture about to start, uh, Get Duma, and we are here to talk about it. Great, and you run the business that you run as the laundromat, is it's that right? Mountain, in yes, Winooski? in Winooski, Vermont, yes. Yeah, so you're familiar with the world of business and startups and yes. making your way. And Bob? Uh, Bob Asimwe is my name. I've been living in uh, Vermont since 2014. I came here as a guest and uh, it turned out to be home. Uh, I started here working, working in banking. I've been working in banking, uh, working with uh, non-profits uh, and running business here and there until uh, recently uh, when we came together to uh, put this project together and uh, uh, see it get born in Vermont here. We, we came up with it because of different challenges we had seen in the industry. So we are happy we are at this stage now. Great, and we'll get into that project in a little more detail in a minute, but Peter Deng? Uh, <coughs> yes, my name is Peter Deng. Everybody know me here in the state of Oman. I own a couple of businesses. I run, I run Burlington Tax and Business Services. Uh, we deal with uh, taxes and business consultings. I run another business, we deal with the cleaning services. And another business, we deal with uh, staffing services, servicing, uh, staffing agents, and uh, financial services company, which is based in Africa. And I do run two foundations, uh, United Africa for Progress and Dame Opportunities Foundation, which are all non-profit. And now, uh, we launch uh, the Geduma. Great. So you come um, with a strong mission background, yeah. community-based mission background. Yeah, and I am the author of Lost Generation. Yeah. yeah. You're the author of The Lost Generation, is that yeah. you said? Mm -hmm. That's a book that you wrote? Yeah, in 2011. Great. Thank you. Um, so tell me a little bit about <coughs> Get Duma. You're all co-founders of this project. Um, what is what is the project and what's the mission behind it? What are you trying to do? Okay. I'll go first. Great. So uh, the Get Duma was born uh, three years ago. I used to be a Uber driver. And as a Uber driver, it came to my mind when I was driving a, a customer from here to Montpelier and realized that the amount of money that I was actually paid, it was not the right amount. Uh, the client was charged a lot of money, and that money did not go into the pocket of, uh, of the driver. And that actually was a turning point for, for me to sit down and say, no, something needs to be done about this. Uh, the drivers are driving their own car. They're putting in the gas and everything. They are the right people who are supposed to have the whole money, not somebody sitting in California and so forth. So I get together with the team and say, you know what? I'm not an engineer. I'm not a developer. But I think we can do something about this thing. We need to create our own app, which is going to be locally known as the Bowman app. And the question that we bustle around was, well, there are so many riders, right share here and so forth. And I said, well, it will work. We just have to put our head together and do something for this because uh, we have thousands of drivers here in the state of Bowman who are not getting what they're supposed to get. And this is not for the good economic of the local community here. So it, why don't we get together, bring the services, bring the software uh, that will work best for the interests of the drivers and the interests of the riders at the same time. Uh, it will be giving back to the local economics. And that's how the Geduma was, uh, was oh. found. Right. So we learned the Geduma uh, from the get-go that we need to create an app that will give 80% of the revenue to the driver. Mm and only 20% of the revenue to, the, to maintain the app. 
We are all from the business background. I have a lot of businesses. Mr. Chris has business. Bob is also on the way to create his own other business and he have a good job. So we are not in for money, but we are in for something that you could do big thing. You don't need to make a lot of money to do big thing to the society. Mm. So we say, seeing there's nobody, seeing we see that there are a lot of people who have a lot of money in Vermont, but they don't want to help these simple drivers that are struggling. We say, well, we have no money, but we have the idea. Mm. And we are the right people to help our Bomantes. So let's get together. Even though we don't have the money, let's get together and form uh, Get Duma. So we got together or we formed Get Duma with the mission of giving back to the, to the drivers. And when, as a numbers guy, I did the math and I said, okay, if we are paying 80% to the drivers, we are going to be contributing to the economic of the, the local economy of Burlington, Winiski, uh, Essex, South Burlington, Charlotte, and so forth at the 85%. Because these drivers will spend their money at the local market. Mm -hmm. And the same 20% that remain with the administration will also be spent in Boman. So we're going to keep the money rotating within Boman. We will then may not in fact the economic in a bigger way, but if we have 2,000 drivers, that means we have actually made a big changes. So let's go in with our full commitment and our all choose well tight. Up. So we, that's how we went in. Then we were hit with the road back because we are not developers and we have to look for the developers. Mm. So, so when we're reaching out to the developers in California, thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. We can't afford, we're just small business guys struggling. We reach to some developers right here in, in New York, $200,000 needed to start. And that almost killed the mission. But starting with me plus my team here, we said, no, we will, let, we will not let the mission die. We must find other way to make it happen. Work. Here in America, when you read the product, it say made in China. Our product can be made somewhere also. And so we start doing some research and we found this, uh, we put the group of developers together in, in India. Mm -hmm. And uh, we said, okay, we have, this is the app. Well, we are not engineer, but we have what it takes. So we draw everything in the piece of paper mm -hmm. on how it's gonna work. If it does this, it should do this. So to the point that the developers saw that we were developers because we, ex we put in writing what we need and how it should function. If you press this, it should do this. Mm -hmm. And then we put it to the developers. And it took them three years to finish the app. The reason being, because we have to struggle to get the money. We give them money, we give them 3,000 today, 5,000 today, and then we, we relax, you know, we struggle again to get more money while they finish phase one, phase two, phase three. So that's how Get Duma was born. And that's how Get Duma was found. As a man from Africa background, I just know that if you are the one doing the work, you are supposed to be well paid. Mm. These drivers were fueling their car. The car belonged to them. They were the one breaking their back, sitting in the car for 12 hours. And at the end of the day, they were not being well compensated. So we create the app that really meet the need for the driver and the need for the local people right here in the state of Oman. And our app, not only is it good for the drivers, it's also good for the riders. And I will let my team talk more about it. It's good for the drivers in a way that, as a, as a rider, I mean, it's good for the riders. As a rider, if you're sitting in the car and you're going to Montpelier or going to Waterbury and you are paying $100, and you know that that $100, 80% of that is going to the driver, how would you feel, Megan? Mm -hmm. You feel very excited mm -hmm. because you know Maybe your uncle or your nephew own a store, that money will go back to the store. It's just money circulating around and you'll feel good. But if it happened that you know that 50%, like what our other competitors, I'm not gonna mention their name does, if 60% goes into the pocket of the big bosses, I go to California, sit there in California. I don't even know what is happening here in Vermont. How would you feel as a rider? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna feel good. You feel that you're being taken advantage of and the, and the driver has been taken advantage of. But if you learn that 20% is the only one that goes to maintain the app and the administrators, then you'll feel so good. 
-hmm. And I'll be so shocked if I don't see Bomante supporting this app. Great. Um, so Bob, tell me how you got involved <coughs> in this to begin with, this, this project idea. Uh, we had been uh, in a, a couple of, uh, you know, brainstorming uh, Session. sessions and, you know, coming up with stuff uh, with Peter before. He has been uh, my tax consultant for a long time. And uh, so we looked at, at our community here. We looked also back where we come from. And we said, we are here for a common goal. We are all looking for purpose and clarity. We need a vision that is really going to create an impact on our communities here in Vermont and back in Africa. So uh, actually at the beginning, uh, I thought I would create some different app for deliveries. Uh, but Peter was uh, on top of the game and he pulled my leg and said, no, this is where to go. And uh, I thank God that I did not continue with where I was going. So he pulled me and we sat on a table and said, uh, if we create an app in rideshare, this is something that is going to be used forever. Mm. It's not for a season. And it is something that can be used by everybody. And so we started on it. So since then, our, our purpose, our goal has been to create impact in terms of economic growth for the state of Vermont and eventually for the whole country. Mm -hmm. And also to ease the navigation of Vermonters and people who come uh, to visit Vermont. We have driven ride shares before. We have seen the kind of people that come to Vermont. Vermont is a lovely a place. We get all sorts of tourists during winter, during uh, summer, people come here. So we really want to create an experience for everybody that comes to Vermont. Great, thank you. Chris, you're tell welcome. me how you're connected with this project. Were you part of drawing out the paper prototype of the app? I wasn't the one doing the drawing, but uh, when Peter, as a business owner, yeah. he does my taxes. Yeah. I do his laundry at our laundromat in Winooski. So that's how I get to know Peter. So when he told me his vision, I told him I'm all in. Got it. So that's how I got involved. Yeah. So Get Duma is a rideshare app. Yeah. It's gonna, in, I guess, compete with some other rideshare apps. I mean, um, that are out there. That's correct. Tell us a little bit about that. Like, how does it feel to go up against Silicon Valley, big? companies um, that are going to not be, that aren't going to be too happy to have their <laughs> portion of the market share. Yeah, uh, I will let Chris go first. Well, uh, the reason why we know that GetDuma will compete effectively with uh, any other rideshare app is because our app has more safety features. I'm sure most people have heard of riders getting attacked in some of these uh, ride shares or drivers getting assaulted mm -hmm. by riders. So when we decided to go with this app or to create this app, we had safety in mind. That's number one goal. Safety for the rider and safety for the driver. So in our app, we created a safety feature that allows when a driver gets in the, in, the, in, the, in the car or the rider, there's a recording of the conversation that goes on so that whatever happens is recorded. Hmm. So it's not like, oh, this is what he did or this is what she did. No, everything is recorded. And the way we had to do it 
to cover the legal basis is we have to make sure that as a driver, before you sign up, you have to agree. You have to give consent that there has to be recording of the conversation as you go along. Same thing with the rider. Both parties have to agree before the ride even Amazing. takes off. Yeah. So that's one of the features we made sure because safety is the number one priority. So we know with that in mind, our customers, our riders and drivers, they feel they have a sense of safety. Yeah. So that's one reason we know that we will compete effectively. Number two, the fact that our ride, our app, gives 80% to the drivers. Everybody loves money in their pocket. So if we have more riders and more drivers, the other guys cannot compete. What makes the app work is the drivers and the riders. So if the riders know that their money is going to the local drivers, mm -hmm. they will be automatically be attracted to get Duma. So are the drivers. They will love to make more money, 80%, as opposed to 45 or 50 percent, it's no brainer. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons we know that we will compete effectively with the other apps. Yeah. Now, you mentioned Peter having driven for Uber. Do you know other folks, or for other rideshare apps? But have you? Do you know other folks that have? Um, like, are you familiar with other folks who are in the rideshare driving community who are doing this work? Okay, well, uh, to answer it simply, yeah. I am a well-respected accountant in this town. Yeah. And all the people who drive Uber, uh, I would say a majority of them come to me. Yeah. And I think I was the first accountant who figured out how to, how to deal with the, with the Uber taxes. Mm -hmm. And so I know a lot of the Uber drivers. I know a lot of people who do a uh, 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 Leaf, who drive for Leaf. Yeah. And he's a Uber driver too. Mm. And so a lot of the migrants in this community drive for Leaf and Uber. Mm -hmm. And now to answer your question about the competition. Oh, I love competition. That's what <laughs> I was born for. <laughs> but Geduma is not here to compete. Of course, it, it, it's very, it, it sounds really not good when you are in your house and someone tell you, well, we're going to bring somebody into your house to compete with you in your own house. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> so these Silicon Valley people, they will remain there in the Silicon. Of course, they've been in the market so far. So they have gotten the lump share of the market, lump sum of the market. That is OK. That was because we were still sleeping. The owner of the house was sleeping, meaning we are the Bomantes. And mm. now we are being awakened by our drivers who are complaining, who are mm -hmm. like, oh, we are being taken advantage here. Why nobody's doing something about it? Of course, we don't have millions of dollars, but we have the knowledge, we have the mind, we have the energy to, to change, to turn the table around. Of course, the big boys will not be happy in Silicon Valley, but their, happiness, their unhappiness is good for me. Mm. If they're not happy, they will come and knock on my door. Uh, they will meet me, they will meet Chris, they will meet Bob and uh, our Muse who is not here. And we will tell them why we are here. And so we are not so concerned about them, but we know that they're not going to be happy. Mm -hmm. And if they are not happy, then let them do the better services. If they're not happy, then let them pay their drivers 80% like what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And everybody will be happy in the market. So we are not really so concerned about, the, uh, about them. Secondly, uh, our app, is meant for Boman because we all the founders are here in Boman and we want to prove to to the world that Boman is not just a small state the way it's being perceived by the big apples and all this stuff I want we want the world to know that Boman is a state small state with a big mind mm -hmm. people with a big mind and so we may not make billions of dollars to shut down all the other big right here but I guarantee you five years from now, if the Bomantes buy into our idea, the Silicon Values app that are here, they will no longer stay here. 
What's the, you know, there's a lot of motivation, a lot of mission that I'm hearing. How do you stay in touch with that mission as you grow this project? And, and how have you stayed in touch as you've done your business? Uh, business um, motivation often being the bottom line, making money can conflict with mm. the social mission. That's so right. How do you how do you stay in touch with that social mission? No, we 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 are staying to we are staying to, we are staying to reality, and we try to keep informed of what's going on. Uh, we we are keeping mindfulness. Mm -hmm. We are being aware of what's going on. So we keep in touch to make sure we don't lose what we started. Mm -hmm. And uh, like everybody has said, this app was built in mind with the customer. We want to offer something to the customer, something that is different, something that is different from what everybody is offering. We don't want to see that, you know, vanish. We are keeping to reality. We know it is not easy, but we are keeping an eye out there. We know what other ride shares are doing. Mm -hmm. And so we try to use that to motivate us and to, you know, keep us on our tiptoes to know that we gotta do better. So Chris, I, I, you will go after me, right? I That's good, right. yes. So mm -hmm. I, I think your question is very clear to the point. We all here have our own jobs. And you're asking how do we keep up uh, mm. with what we're doing, giving that it's like a social mission. Of course, you will term it that way. And as you know, and as you heard from the beginning, I do have a lot of businesses that I run. Uh, Brother Chris here have his own laundromat. He's the one who take care of my clothes anyway, because I don't know how to do the clothes work. Uh, our brother here, Bob, he worked for a nonprofit organization. So he got his paycheck coming in. Now, when we create the get Duma, our mission was not to make money. Otherwise, we will have not created because we have used our money and we'll continue to use our money to enhance the app. Mm. So if the goal was to make the money, we will have brought into other services because me, I love making money. I'm the money guy. So I will have come up with other way of generating money. But if you look at my background with two nonprofit, that means I am up for something good for the society. I will use my own money to make sure that someone is happy. Because at the end of the day, you die and you leave all these millions of dollars behind. We know a lot of billion people, a lot of uh, multi-billionaire people who die here in the US. Their money has not been put to good use by the relative who left behind. And so we have this mission where we say, what is our blueprint here in the state of Oman as the immigrant who came to this country and who have this idea, we need to create a blueprint that when the time comes that we are no longer here, we will remain in the history that at the least we have changed the life of so many in Boman. Mm. And so that keeps driving us. Where at some point when we're like, oh my God, these developers, they need 3,000, where do we get? We, 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 we <coughs> don't go back and say, you know what, we got it. Mm -hmm. 3,000 is not a big deal. Mr. Man, bring 500. Mr. Man, bring 500. Okay, we give ourselves one week to get that money. And we will do whatever it takes to get that money. Of course, mm -hmm. we're not going to steal. We're not going to rob the bank. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go back to our own saving account and collect that money and give it because mm -hmm. we know this is good for the community. Mm -hmm. Because we're building something that we know is going to live beyond our life. That is what more debating us, knowing that by the time we are gone, people will be saying this, this app was founded by this group of Africans. Of course, in the next two years, five years, this, this app will be run by all white people. Mm -hmm. But then people will start talking, who are the founders? Oh, the founders were all black men who found this. And then later on, they handed over to the white brothers, and they went on to do the thing, because we're not going to be doing this thing the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. We're going to hand it over. We're going to hand it over to the next generation, because that is who we are. We are a group of entrepreneurs. We are makers. We make things and we hand it over to the people mm. who have the skill to run it. And we say, okay, now you have the product. And this is how you sell the product. May God bless you. So that brings me to, so Get Duma is an app. It's a ride share app. Mm -hmm. It's in development or when is no, it? No, it's, it's already ready. Launched. It's launched. Yes. So you can get on Apple, 
Apple yes. and uh, Android. Uh, iOS. Yes, Android and iOS. And find yeah. this. Yes. So the, the the app is available in the whole United States of America. You can download anywhere in the United States of America. So are people starting to drive <coughs> for you? Could I call up and get a ride? Right, absolutely. Even today, if you want, you can sign up and get the and the drivers are on online there to to give you the ride. Have you had a lot of support or backers in the community? Um, not, no, no, not, that not yet. Just amongst it's, yourselves. It's only among ourselves. <laughs> That's and why we have, we're here and, to and, get the word out, yeah. so that people will know we're here. Yeah. You know, we are the purple cow. You're the purple cow. Yes. Mm. Tell Something. me, what's the what's the purple cow? See, normally when you think of a cow, you think of a black and white color. Yeah. But when you see a purple cow, what would you say? Wow, that's different. <laughs> that's what we want to be, yeah. something different. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and we yeah. don't want the society to be confused because in the next couple months, we will be in Africa. And then the Bomantas may get confused and say, well, these guys are already in Africa. What are they doing there? Because that is our heritage. We need to bring the services to the countries where we were born. We are the founders. You're going to make this here. a global, you want this to so, move outside gonna, the So we're going to go to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He's originally from Nigeria. We're going to go to Uganda. We're going to launch in Kenya because I went to school in Kenya, even though we don't have a member in Kenya. We're going to launch there in Kenya because I, I have a love for the Kenya. We're going to launch in Uganda. We're going to launch in South Sudan, my country of origins. And then we're going to launch in Congo. Ethiopia. Uh, uh, and then we're going to launch in Ethiopia. Why? Because we already got a request from Ethiopia. We already get a request from Kenya. We already get a request from Congo. So they have heard of what we are doing. And they're so excited that a group of Africans get together and they are now having a big mission of bringing something into the market. So very soon, people will be talking much about Boman, a little state going globally. Mm. Mm. And this is something that keeps us so proud. So when people go into the internet, they say, oh, these founders are all in Boman. They are Bomantes. This is a Boman company moving from Boman to Africa because Africa is a bread for everybody. Africa has been put on the table and everybody's eating. So we don't want Boman to be left out. Seeing we are Africans and we know what is so good about Africa, we want to bring Boman to Africa. And we know it's going to be a tough fight, but God is helping us because we are already being invited without us going there, mm. which is good news. Chris, do you want to say anything about how you stay in touch with the mission, how you stay in touch with what you're doing while you're yeah. at the same time? Well, yeah, well, uh, like we said uh, at the beginning, the app was born out of love. It wasn't for money. Mm -hmm. Like you said, we would have gone into something totally different. But being a business owner and in the service industry, I know what it is to provide service to the community. We've been in business for 10 years. Our laundromat has been in, in uh, Winooski for 10 years. So I know what it means to give back to the community. So when we started the business, like we said at the beginning, it was to help, to provide a service to give back to the community. So to stay in touch with that mission in mind, we have Zoom meeting every, every week. And then we table our opinions, our ideas, and what we need to do mm -hmm. to keep it going. So that's how we stay. And we always go back to what the mission, the original mm -hmm. mission is, to give back to the community. And we always do whatever it takes to, you know, yep. realize that. And by the way, just to mention it, make it clear, because when we're here, we're sitting as the founders, and people say, well, who drive them? He's our CEO. He's the one we've tapped as the CEO of the, of the Geduma. And because we are a well-informed group of people who know what we want out of this app. Uh, when you say A, we know what you mean by that A, whether you have the hidden agenda behind that A or not. So he's our CEO, and he also have the low backgrounds, which is really a big deal. He, 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 a lot of CEO that run the companies Many of them do not have the low background, mm -hmm. and so a lot of things fly by and they don't even know. Now, don't, uh, now we only have a couple of minutes left, so I want to mm -hmm. make sure you have a chance to say what you want to say, but do, do any of you have the app on your phone that we could oh, pull yeah. it out? Absolutely. And maybe just bring the, we could bring the camera over the shoulder and show how that 
um, what it looks like and how it works. And you know, if you want to say, if you tilt it so that the camera can see, it would be great. Uh, so uh, right now, this is the app. Uh, I'm online now. It shows that I'm online. So if anybody calls, this would I would respond to it. You're so you're driving for the app right now. Yes. So yes. somebody calls, they're going to get you. Good no, a customer. Gonna, show this one too. Okay. If you look at here, these are all the future of the app. You want me to bring it a little bit? Good. Those are all the future of the app. Yeah, just hold it there so she can see it. And then. Yeah, you talked a little bit about the, um, what can you tell us what those are as you go down? What are those features? Okay, as you can see from the top is the Get Duma. And then you see there the second, which is the set destination, is where the, ride, uh, where the driver, when the driver is driving, he can set the destination so that if you are going to Manpelia, you will only be sent a request of a person going that way. Got it. Not the request of the person going to a different direction. Mm. Got it. And, and then when you look at uh, the other one, which is the document, if you click here, document, you see it where it show you all the document that you have to upload in order for you to be able to drive. If you look at there, there's a car registration, driving license, uh, car insurance. So identity this is how you sign up to be a yeah, driver right. on exactly. the app. Yeah. When you sign up now, you will be able to see. And then there is another feature which is very good here. So for example, when you go here to the help. So let's say you have a problem. <coughs> you click on help. And then those are the things. When you click on, on uh, for the first thing, let's say we click on that one there, it will show you below are the thing. And then now it shows the manual. So that means this gentleman here give the right to Mr. Emmanuel. So it is showed the recent right that he gave. And to see if you have a problem with that rider, then he will have to make an explanation of what kind of problem he went through. Mm -hmm. and then we, the administrators, the people sitting behind the computer will now see what is happening. So you have, your team is also managing, paying attention to what's going on. Yes, yes. absolutely. Right. And, and our team, because you see, you can't tell people my food is so good. You can't cook the food and say this food is so good when you cannot test it. Mm -hmm. So we cook, we prepare the food, and we ourselves, we are also the drivers yeah. of our own app. Trying it out. And well, thanks for coming. Is there anything else that you want to share with folks before we close up today? Well, we just want the public to know that we are here in Vermont. Yeah. We are locally based company founded in Vermont, and we want to stay here in Vermont and make Vermont great mm -hmm. again. Cool. <laughs> great. Thanks, Wonderful. Bob. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, we are glad we are here, and uh, we know, uh, just like other Vermonters, we love Vermont and we love local. So this is uh, an app that has been created especially for the Vermonters. We know it's going to go countrywide and worldwide. But this is home. So I would like to invite Vermonters to support us and use this app. This is a home app. This is a local app. We know Vermonters love local. So they should come and we support this app together. Great. Thanks so much. You're Peter right. Dang. OK, for me, my message to the community, uh, to the local community here, and to all the Vermonters is very simple and clear. Now the Vermonters have two choices. Uh, the big corporate companies that you don't even get to see their CEOs, you don't even get to see where they eat and where they do their grocery shopping. And now you get the local guys that you can go into the offices, you can walk to the offices, you know where they live. And the product is here, Geduma, is locally, belong to the Bomantas. So the Bomantas now have the choice to either go for the foreigner or go for what belong to them. And I'll be so shocked and I will be very disappointed if I see the Bomantas still using the Silicon values, those big apps. Because the reason why we create this app is to cut off for the Bomantas. And if the Bomantas love to see the economy grow, and if they care about those drivers on the road, then Geduma is the right place to go. If they don't care about those drivers on the road, and if they don't care about the economic well-being of these communities, then I'll be so disappointed. Mm -hmm. And of course, th there will be uh, other places where I can take my off, uh, where me and my team can, can go. 
But we have a very clear message to the Bomante that the Boman will never be built by the foreigners. The Boman, I'm calling them foreigners because they are not Bomantes. They are in Silicon Valley, they are in Big Apple. They just come here to make money and at the end of the day, they go somewhere. Mm -hmm. We don't see where they go. We don't see where they keep that money. Mm -hmm. They don't bring that money back into the community. And so we are here keeping the money into the community, creating the job for our local economy. So my clear message to the Bomantes is that this is a time for Bomantes to come together and say there was a young guy who came up with a thing a long time ago, say eat local. It was a, mm -hmm. it was a brand thing here. So this is the time for Bomantes to say, let go local. Let mm -hmm. only go for the local right here. And with the local right here, get Duma. Of course, we don't have the money to be everywhere, to be on television, to be at the airport, to be everywhere. But we have people. That's why we are here. And so those people who are watching this show today should be able to go on their phone, download the app, and start using the app. And within the next three months, get Duma will conquer the Boman. And when we conquer the Boman, I promise the Bomantes that we will invest every penny that we make here in Boman, we will reinvest it back to Boman. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter, Bob, and Chris, for joining us today and sharing your project that's very inspiring and exciting, Get Duma. And thank you all for watching Town Meeting TV. You can watch this and other programs. Just stay tuned. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Thanks for inviting us.